two essential segments of DNA are required for production of a transgenic plant that will express the trait of interest. These two essential segments are promoter and the marker gene. Promoter is the essential segment of DNA that must be fused upstream of the gene of interest to control its expression. The choice of promoter is crucial because it specifies where and when the transgene will be expressed in the plant tissue. Second essential segment is marker gene. Marker genes are required for selection of the transgenic plant. They are also useful to monitor the expression of the transgene. Some of the marker genes are known as selectable marker genes. Selectable marker genes typically confer antibiotic resistance so that transgenic cells, tissues and plants can be selected on a suitable medium. Other marker genes are known as visual marker genes. Visual marker genes often cause a color change in the transgenic plant so that researchers can see where and when the gene is expressed in the plant tissue. Hello and welcome to some online class. This is Dr. Subrat Kumar Mahanti. Today we shall discuss about marker genes. Marker genes are crucial in facilitating the production of transgenic plant and also their subsequent identification. Marker genes are divided into two main class. One is selectable marker gene and the other class is non-selectable marker genes. Selectable marker genes are further divided into two subclass. One subclass is positive selectable marker gene and the other subclass is negative selectable marker genes. The positive selectable marker genes are further subdivided into conditional positive selectable marker gene and non-conditional positive selectable marker gene. Whereas, negative selectable marker genes are also divided into conditional negative selectable marker gene and non-conditional negative selectable marker genes. Similarly, non-selectable marker genes are also divided into conditional non-selectable marker gene and non-conditional non-selectable marker genes. Non-selectable marker genes are also called as scorable marker genes or reporter genes. Selectable marker genes. Over 50 selectable marker gene systems have been described in the literature but a few of them have been adopted for routine use. First of all, we shall discuss about conditional positive selectable marker gene. This category contains the largest number of and widely used marker gene system that have been developed for selection of the transgenic plant. The gene system for for an enzyme or a product that provide resistance to a specific substrate which selectively inhibit the growth and differentiation of non-transformed cells. The toxic substance which is included in the nutrient media can be an antibiotic or a herbicide, drug or a metabolic intermediate or it can be a hormone precursor. This category also includes some of the recently developed marker gene system that provide access to a specific nutrient that can be utilized only by the transformed cells. So the non-transformed cells are eventually starved to death. 
One of the example is man aging system which provide access to manose as the carbon source which can be utilized only by the transformed cells. The use of drug and metabolic intermediate to achieve selection has also been demonstrated. The drug and metabolic intermediate can distinguish between transformed plant and non-transformed plant at the level of plantlet or at the level of whole plant. But the system is not very effective during tissue culture steps that are necessary to generate transgenic plants. Scientific literature shows that three conditional positive selectable markers in system have been adopted widely to generate transgenic plant for research and for commercialization. One of the widely used gene system is NPT2. NPT2 gene system is also known as NEO or APS2. This gene system provides resistance to the antibiotic neomycin and canamycin. NPT2 gene system code for the enzyme neomycin phosphotransferase. Another widely used marker gene system is HPT, which is also known as HPH or APS4. This gene system provides resistance to the antibiotic hypromycin B and the gene system code for the enzyme hypromycin phosphotransferase. Third example is BAR or PAD gene system. Bar or part gene system generate resistance to the herbicide phosphinotrysin. The gene system code for the enzyme phosphinotrysin acetyl transferase. We are discussing about conditional positive selectable marker gene. Now we shall see as how transgenic plants are selected by using antibiotic as the selective agent. The aminoglycoside antibiotic include various antibiotics like neomycin, canamycin, gentamicin and paromycin. There is a microorganism known as streptomyces canamyceticus. Streptomyces canamyceticus is a soil actinomycete that produces the antibiotic canamycin. And canamycin is highly toxic to the plant cell because it inhibits the process of protein synthesis. Microbes also synthesize various enzymes that confer resistance to canamycin through various reactions. One of the examples is a phosphotransferase that generates canamycin resistance through the ATP dependent O phosphorylation of antibiotic. One of the examples is neomycin phosphotransferase 2. The enzyme neomycin phosphotransferase 2 is encoded by the gene known as NPT2 which is also known as NEO or APS2. This enzyme is obtained from E. coli. So neomycin phosphotransferase 2 is a bacterial aminoglycoside 3-phosphotransferase 2 that generate canamycin resistance. To function in plant cells, the NPT2 gene is fused with regulatory elements from the nopalin synthase gene which is present in the tDNA of the Ti plasmid. So by fusing regulatory element from the nopalin synthase gene, the NPT2 gene is expressed in all cells of the plant. So there is constitutive expression. In addition to this, 
the NPT2 gene is also fused with a strong upstream promoter sequence from the cauliflower mosaic virus. So by fusing with the upstream promoter sequence from the cauliflower mosaic virus, the gene is expressed at higher level in all cells. So the NPT2 gene is frequently used to generate kanamycin resistance. The NPT2 gene system is useful for both nuclear and chloroplast transformation. However, there is another master gene system known as aminoglycoside 3 adenyl transferase. The name of the enzyme is aminoglycoside 3 adenyl transferase that is coded by the gene AADA. So this gene system that is known as AADA is preferred for chloroplast transformation. The NPT2 gene system functions effectively in a wide range of plant species. It is also safe for use in feed crop and food crop. The gene system also functions effectively in a variety of microorganisms and eukaryotic cells. When we use kanamycin as the selective agent, only the transformed cells and tissues will grow and differentiate, thereby forming transgenic plants. But the non-transformed cells and tissues get killed because of the absence of kanamycin resistance. In addition to kanamycin, there is another antibiotic known as hygromycin B. Hygromycin B is the frequently used antibiotic after kanamycin. Hygromycin B is highly toxic as compared to kanamycin. Hygromycin B also inhibit the process of protein synthesis. There are several bacterial genes that code for various enzymes and those enzymes detoxify hygromycin B thereby generate hygromycin resistance. There is a bacterial gene known as APH4 which is also known as HPH or HPT. The gene system APH4 code for the enzyme hygromycin phosphotransferase. Hygromycin phosphotransferase, it detoxify hygromycin B through ATP dependent phosphorylation of hygromycin B. So by using hygromycin B, we can also select transgenic plant. Hygromycin is more toxic, so it is not possible to apply hygromycin B without an overkill. In addition to kanamycin and hygromycin B, several antibiotics like streptomycin, bleomycin, streptothrisin and chloramphenicol can also be used as a selective agent along with their resistance gene to select transgenic plants. This is about the selection of transgenic plants in a medium that contain antibiotic. Now we shall know how transgenic plants are selected by using herbicide as the selective agent. Various herbicides like phosphenothricin, glyphosate, imidazolinones and bromoxenil can be used as a selective agent for selection of the transgenic plant. Phosphenothricin or glucosinate ammonium is an active component of several commercial herbicides. Phosphenothricin is an analog of albutamic acid. Because of this, phosphenothricin competitively inhibits the enzyme glutamine synthase. 
The enzyme glutamine synthase is responsible for assimilation of ammonium ion in plant tissue. When the enzyme glutamine synthase is inhibited, then the ammonia accumulates in the plant tissue to a toxic level. Microorganisms synthesize some specific enzyme, for example, phosphinothrysin and acetyl transferase the detoxify phosphinothrysin through acetyl coenzyme A mediated acetylation. Two gene systems that code for this enzyme have been cloned. One of the gene system is the Bayer gene. The Bayer gene system has been obtained from the microorganism Streptomyces hygroscopicus. The Bayer gene system for biophos resistance and biophos consists of two residues of alanine and one residue of phosphonutrition. The other gene system is the Bayer gene. The PAR gene system code for the enzyme phosphinothrysin acetyl transferase. This gene system has been obtained from the microorganism Streptomyces viridochromogenes. These two gene systems, the BAR gene and the PAR gene, are frequently used as marker gene system to select transgenic plant in several species. In several species, the canamycin system do not work effectively. In addition to this, canamycin do not kill monocot species efficiently, but the phosphonutrysin and the bilophos kill the monocot species very efficiently. This is about the use of various herbicides as the selective agent for selecting the transgenic plants. In addition to antibiotics and herbicides, non-toxic metabolic substrate can also be used as a selective agent along with specific gene system for selection of the transgenic plant. Most of the conditional positive selectable market gene system use toxic substrate for selection of the transgenic plant, but this system uses non-toxic metabolic substrate as the selective agent. The system is not very harsh. It also works with a wide range of plant species and also the transformation frequency is higher. Let us discuss about two gene systems. One is man a gene system that has been obtained from E. coli. This gene system core for an enzyme phosphomannose isomerase. Other gene system is Xyl A gene system. This Xyl A gene system core for the enzyme xylose isomerase. This gene system has been obtained from microorganism like Streptomyces rubiginosus and Thermoenerobacterium thermosulfurogens. This gene system that is known as man A gene system, it confers ability to the transgenic cells, tissues and plants to utilize manose as a carbon source, whereas the Xyl A gene system confers the ability to the transgenic cells and tissues to utilize xylose as the carbon source. So by using man aging system and xyl aging system, we can select the transgenic plant. The transgenic plant only can utilize manose and xylose as the carbon source, whereas the non-transformed cells, tissues and plant cannot utilize manose and xylose, so eventually it will be starved to death. So by using non-toxic metabolic substrate, we can also select transgenic plants. Now we shall discuss about non-conditional positive selectable marker gene. 
This gene system confer growth advantage and distinguishable morphology. This gene system selectively induces the differentiation of transformed tissue but not necessarily kill non-transgenic tissue. Use of shoot organogenesis for selection of transgenic plant is an example of this type of market gene system. In tissue culture, shoot formation occurs depend upon the presence of high cytokine to oxygen ratio. So whenever there is high cytokine, shoot formation takes place. There is a gene that code for the enzyme isopentenyl transferase. And the gene coding for the enzyme isopentenyl transferase is present in the tDNA of PI plasmid that is present within Agrobacterium cumefaciens. The enzyme isopentenyl transferase catalyzes the synthesis of isopentenyl adenosine 5 monophosphate and this is the first reaction step in the synthesis of cytokine. The expression of this gene alone result in high frequency of shoot regeneration and recovery of transformed material. But there is a difficulty. The difficulty is that shoot have abnormal morphology and do not develop roots. This problem can be overcome by using an inducible promoter such as Vista Estradial Inducible Promoter. By using the Vita Estradial Inducible Promoter, we can restrict the timing of the expression of the gene. So by restricting the time of the expression of the gene, shoot organogenesis can occur and also roots will develop. As a result, transgenic plants can be recovered. This is about non-conditional positive selectable marker gene. Non-selectable marker genes or reporter genes. The genes are encoded with visually identifiable characteristics. Reporter genes are also called as visible marker genes because they change the appearance of the plant tissue. So reporter genes are used to tag another gene or a specific DNA sequence, for example promoter. Reporter genes are useful to quantify gene expression. Reporter genes can also be used to study the effect of transcription factor on gene expression. The genes can also be used to study the function of various gene regulatory elements. In addition to this, reporter genes are vital in identification of tissue specific and pathway specific gene expression. In this example, this is the reporter gene. This reporter gene is fused with the regulatory sequence. This is the regulatory sequence that belong to another gene. The regulatory sequence can be a promoter sequence or any other sequence. So, by fusing reporter gene with a gene regulatory sequence, we can study the function of this regulatory sequence. So, reporter genes are very much useful to study the function of various gene regulatory elements. So, reporter genes are transcribed the result in the formation of mRNA and mRNA is later translated to form reporter protein for example GFP. So the amount of protein that is formed can easily measure through various assays. So by using reporter gene we can easily study the function of various gene regulatory elements. Several reporter genes have been described in the scientific literature but three of them are more popular. 
These three systems are UID as in UID as in also known as gas zinc the zinc system code for the enzyme beta glucuronidase another reporter gene is lug gene lug gene code for the enzyme luciferase and the third example is gfp gene gfp gene code for a protein known as green fluorescent protein out of these three reporter genes uid gene and lug gene are example of conditional non selectable marker gene because they require the use of an external substrate for detection of activity whereas gfp gene is an example of non conditional non selectable marker gene because the protein that is encoded by the gene is directly detectable first of all we shall discuss about uid a gene system uid a gene system is also known as gas a gene system the gene is obtained from e coli and this gene code for the enzyme beta glucuronidase UID A gene system is the most widely used reporter gene in plants. This gas A gene system is useful to study the function of various gene regulatory elements and mechanisms. It can also be used in promoter trapping experiment. Several gas A gene assay are available. depending on the substrate that is used first assay is histochemical staining for gas histochemical staining the substrate is 5 bromo 4 chloro 3 indole glucuronide which is abbreviated as x gluc so the substrate is hydrolyzed by the enzyme beta glucuronidase to form a product that is known as 55 dibromo 44 dichloro indigo this compound is abbreviated as dix indigo which is blue color so the development of blue color due to this hydrolysis can be observed by microscope the activity of gas a gene can also be studied by spectrophotometric assay for spectrophotometric assay the substrate is p nitrophenyl beta d glucuronide similarly gas a gene activity can also be studied by fluorimetric assay for fluorimetric assay the substrate is 4 methyl umeryl ferryl beta d glucuronide so this is about uid a or gas a gene system gas a gene system is the most widely used reporter gene in plants another example of reporter gene is lug gene lug gene is obtained from the firefly known as photinus spirales the lug gene code for the enzyme known as luciferase the enzyme luciferase catalyzes the atp dependent oxidative decarboxylation of luciferin so luciferin is the external substrate that has to be added to the selection medium for detection of activity and this oxidative decarboxylation of luciferin emit light which is an example of bioluminescence this lug gene system is a sensitive non destructive monitoring system that allow real time analysis however this reporter gene has not been used as extensively as the gas gene system another important reporter gene is gfp gene 
the GF gene code for a protein known as green fluorescent protein. The green fluorescent protein exhibit bright green fluorescence when exposed to light in the range of blue to ultraviolet. The GFP gene is an example of non-conditional, non-selectable marker gene because there is no need of adding any external substrate to the selection medium in order to detect activity. The green fluorescent protein traditionally refers to the protein that was first isolated from the Pacific jellyfish known as Echoria victoria. And the green fluorescent protein that was isolated from the Pacific jellyfish is known as AVGFP. The GFP gene is used to tag various plant genes in order to understand the protein interaction and protein trafficking. The GFP gene system is also useful for easy detection of transgenic plant and plant parts such as pollen. GFP gene is also useful in modified form as biosensor. The GFP gene is not only present in the Pacific jellyfish but also is present in various animals like corals, copepods, zoanthids, sea anemones and lancelets. Friends, this is about various reporter genes like Gus gene, Love gene and GFP gene. The Gus gene and Love gene are example of conditional non-selectable marker gene or reporter gene whereas GFP is an example of non-conditional non-selectable marker gene or reporter gene. Thank you friends. Please share, like and subscribe this video and also please give your comments so that I will be able to improve my performance. See you. Bye-bye.